Glycerol, also called glycerin or glycerin, see spelling differences, is a simple polyol compound. It is a colorless, odorless, viscous liquid that is sweet tasting and non-toxic. The glycerol backbone is found in all lipids known as triglycerides. It is widely used in the food industry as a sweetener and humectant and in pharmaceutical formulations. Glycerol has three hydroxyl groups that are responsible for its solubility in water and its hygroscopic nature. Structure Although achiral, glycerol is prochiral with respect to reactions of one of the two primary alcohols. Thus, in substituted derivatives, the stereospecific numbering labels each carbon as either SN1, SN2, or SN3. Production Glycerol is generally obtained from plant and animal sources where it occurs as triglycerides. Triglycerides are esters of glycerol with long-chain carboxylic acids. The hydrolysis, saponification, or transesterification of these triglycerides produces glycerol as well as the fatty acid derivative. Triglycerides can be saponified with sodium hydroxide to give glycerol and fatty sodium salt or soap. Typical plant sources include soybeans or palm. Animal-derived tallow is another source. Approximately 950,000 tons per year are produced in the United States and Europe. 350,000 tons of glycerol were produced per year in the United States alone from 2000 to 2004. The EU Directive 2003-30 EC set a requirement that 5.75% of petroleum fuels are to be replaced with biofuel sources across all member states by 2010. It was projected in 2006 that by the year 2020, production would be six times more than demand, creating an excess of glycerol. Glycerol from triglycerides is produced on a large scale, but the crude product is a variable quality, with a low selling price of as low as 2 to 5 US cents per kilogram in 2011. It can be purified, but the process is expensive. Some glycerol is burned for energy, but its heat value is low. Crude glycerol from the hydrolysis of triglycerides can be purified by treatment with activated carbon to remove organic impurities, alkali to remove unreacted glycerol esters, and ion exchange to remove salts. High purity glycerol, greater than 99.5%, is obtained by multi-step distillation. Vacuum is helpful due to the high boiling point of glycerol, 290 degrees Celsius. Synthetic glycerol Although usually not cost-effective, glycerol can be produced by various routes from propylene. The epichlorohydrin process is the most important. It involves the chlorination of propylene to give allyl chloride, which is oxidized with hypochlorite to dichlorohydrins, which reacts with a strong base to give epichlorohydrin. This epichlorohydrin is then hydrolyzed to give glycerol. Chlorine-free processes from propylene include the synthesis of glycerol from acrolein and propylene oxide. Because of the large-scale production of biodiesel from fats, where glycerol is a waste product, the market for glycerol is depressed. Thus, synthetic processes are not economical. Owing to oversupply, efforts are being made to convert glycerol to synthetic precursors, such as acrolein and epichlorohydrin. See the chemical intermediate section of this article. Applications Food industry In food and beverages, glycerol serves as a humectant, solvent, and sweetener, and may help preserve foods. It is also used as filler in commercially prepared low-fat foods e.g., cookies, and as a thickening agent in liqueurs. Glycerol and water are used to preserve certain types of plant leaves. As a sugar substitute, it has approximately 27 kilocalories per teaspoon, sugar has 20, and is 60% as sweet as sucrose. It does not feed the bacteria that form plaques and cause dental cavities. As a food additive, glycerol is labeled as E number E422. It is added to icing frosting to prevent it from setting too hard. As used in foods, glycerol is categorized by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics as a carbohydrate. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, carbohydrate designation includes all caloric macronutrients excluding protein and fat. 
Glycerol has a caloric density similar to table sugar, but a lower glycemic index and different metabolic pathway within the body, so some dietary advocates accept glycerol as a sweetener compatible with low-carbohydrate diets. It is also recommended as an additive when using polyol sweeteners such as erythritol and xylitol which have a cooling effect, due to its heating effect in the mouth, if the cooling effect is not wanted. Medical, pharmaceutical and personal care applications Glycerol is used in medical, pharmaceutical and personal care preparations, often as a means of improving smoothness, providing lubrication, and as a humectant. Ichthyosis and xerosis have been relieved by the topical use glycerin. It is found in allergen immunotherapies, cough syrups, elixirs and expectorants, toothpaste, mouthwashes, skin care products, shaving cream, hair care products, soaps, and water-based personal lubricants. In solid dosage forms like tablets, glycerol is used as a tablet holding agent. For human consumption, glycerol is classified by the US FDA among the sugar alcohols as a caloric macronutrient. Glycerol is also used in blood banking to preserve red blood cells prior to freezing. Glycerol is a component of glycerin soap. Essential oils are added for fragrance. This kind of soap is used by people with sensitive, easily irritated skin because it prevents skin dryness with its moisturizing properties. It draws moisture up through skin layers and slows or prevents excessive drying and evaporation. Glycerol can be used as a laxative when introduced into the rectum in suppository or small volume 2 to 10 milliliters enema form. It irritates the anal mucosa and induces a hyperosmotic effect. Taken orally, often mixed with fruit juice to reduce its sweet taste, glycerol can cause a rapid, temporary decrease in the internal pressure of the eye. This can be useful for the initial emergency treatment of severely elevated eye pressure. Botanical extracts When utilized in tincture method extractions, specifically as a 10% solution, glycerol prevents tannins from precipitating in ethanol extracts of plants' tinctures. It is also used as an alcohol-free Alternative to ethanol is a solvent in preparing herbal extractions. It is less extractive when utilized in a standard tincture methodology. Alcohol-based tinctures can also have the alcohol removed and replaced with glycerol for its preserving properties. Such products are not alcohol-free in a scientific sense, as glycerol contains three hydroxyl groups. Fluid extract manufacturers often extract herbs in hot water before adding glycerol to make glycerites, when used as a primary. True. Alcohol-free botanical extraction solvent in non-tincture-based methodologies, glycerol has been shown to possess a high degree of extractive versatility for botanicals including removal of numerous constituents and complex compounds, with an extractive power that can rival that of alcohol and water alcohol solutions. That glycerol possesses such high extractive power assumes it is utilized with dynamic methodologies as opposed to standard passive tincturing methodologies that are better suited to alcohol. Glycerol possesses the intrinsic property of not denaturing or rendering a botanical's constituents inert, as alcohols, i.e. ethyl, grain, alcohol, methyl, wood, alcohol, etc. do. Glycerol is a stable preserving agent for botanical extracts that, when utilized in proper concentrations in an extraction solvent base, does not allow inverting or reduction oxidation of a finished extract's constituents, even over several years. Both glycerol and ethanol are viable preserving agents. Glycerol is bacteriostatic in its action, and ethanol is bactericidal in its action. Electronic cigarette liquid Glycerin, along with propylene glycol, is a common component of e-liquid, a solution used with electronic vaporizers, electronic cigarettes. This glycerol is heated with an atomizer, a heating coil often made of canthal wire, producing the aerosol that delivers nicotine to the user. Antifreeze like ethylene glycol and propylene glycol, glycerol is a non-ionic cosmotrope that forms strong hydrogen bonds with water molecules, competing with water-water hydrogen bonds. This interaction disrupts the formation of ice. The minimum freezing point temperature is about minus 36 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 38 degrees Celsius, corresponding to 70% glycerol in water. 
Glycerol was historically used as an anti-freeze for automotive applications before being replaced by ethylene glycol, which has a lower freezing point. While the minimum freezing point of a glycerol water mixture is higher than an ethylene glycol water mixture, glycerol is not toxic and is being re-examined for use in automotive applications. In the laboratory, glycerol is a common component of solvents for enzymatic reagents stored at temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius due to the depression of the freezing temperature. It is also used as a cryoprotectant where the glycerol is dissolved in water to reduce damage by ice crystals to laboratory organisms that are stored in frozen solutions, such as bacteria, nematodes, and mammalian embryos. Chemical intermediate Glycerol is used to produce nitroglycerin, which is an essential ingredient of various explosives such as dynamite, gelignite, and propellants like cordite. Reliance on soap making to supply co-product glycerol made it difficult to increase production to meet wartime demand. Hence, synthetic glycerol processes were national defense priorities in the days leading up to World War II. Nitroglycerin, also known as glycerol trinitrate GTN, is commonly used to relieve angina pectoris, taken in the form of sublingual tablets, or as an aerosol spray. An oxidation of glycerol affords mesoxylic acid. Vibration damping Glycerol is used as fill for pressure gauges to damp vibration. External vibrations, from compressors, engines, pumps, etc., produce harmonic vibrations within Borden gauges that can cause the needle to move excessively, giving inaccurate readings. The excessive swinging of the needle can also damage internal gears or other components, causing premature wear. Glycerol, when poured into a gauge to replace the air space, reduces the harmonic vibrations that are transmitted to the needle, increasing the lifetime and reliability of the gauge. Niche Glycerol is used by the film industry when filming scenes involving water to stop areas from drying out too quickly. Glycerin is used combined with water, around in a 1 to 99 proportion to create a smooth smoky environment. The solution is vaporized and pushed into the room with a ventilator. Ultrasonic couplant Glycerol can be sometimes used as replacement for water in ultrasonic testing, as it has favorably higher acoustic impedance 2.42 m rail versus 1.483 m rail for water, while being relatively safe, non-toxic, non-corrosive and relatively low cost. Internal combustion fuel Glycerol is also used to power diesel generators supplying electricity for the FIA Formula E series of electric race cars. Research on uses Research has been conducted to try to make value-added products from glycerol obtained from biodiesel production. Examples, aside from combustion of waster glycerol, Hydrogen gas production Glycerin acetate is a potential fuel additive. Conversion to propylene glycol Conversion to acrolein Conversion to ethanol Conversion to epichlorohydrin, a raw material for epoxy resins. Metabolism Glycerol is a precursor for synthesis of triacylglycerols and of phospholipids in the liver and adipose tissue. When the body uses stored fat as a source of energy, glycerol and fatty acids are released into the bloodstream. Circulating glycerol does not glycate proteins as do glucose or fructose, and does not lead to the formation of advanced glycation endproducts ages. In some organisms, the glycerol component can enter the glycolysis pathway directly and, thus, provide energy for cellular metabolism, or, potentially, be converted to glucose through gluconeogenesis. Before glycerol can enter the pathway of glycolysis or gluconeogenesis, depending on physiological conditions, it must be converted to their intermediate glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate in the following steps. The enzyme glycerol kinase is present mainly in the liver and kidneys, but also in other body tissues, including muscle and brain. In adipose tissue, glycerol 3 phosphate is obtained from dihydroxyacetone phosphate DHAP, with the enzyme glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. 
Glycerol has very low toxicity when ingested, its LD50 oral dose for rats is 12,600 mg per kilogram and 8,700 mg per kilogram for mice. Historical cases of contamination with diethylene glycol On 4 May 2007, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration advised all U.S. makers of medicines to test all batches of glycerol for the toxic diethylene glycol. This followed an occurrence of hundreds of fatal poisonings in Panama resulting from a falsified import customs declaration by Panamanian import-export firm Aduanas Javier de Gracia Express, S.A. The cheaper diethylene glycol was relabeled as the more expensive glycerol. Etymology the origin of the gly and glu prefixes for glycols and sugars is from Greek glikis glucus which means sweet. Isomers 1, 1, 1 propantriol 1, 1, 2 propantriol 1, 1, 3 propantriol 1, 2, 2 propantriol See also Epichlorohydrin Nitroglycerin Oleochemicals Saponification – soap making Sulcatal Sugar alcohol Transesterification References External links Glycerin MS Spectrum CDC, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards, Glycerin, Mist